homeowners caught up in West Michigan's growing PFAS water crisis have nervously waited weeks to learn if the likely carcinogen was in their wells. That's because they had to send water samples to out-of-state labs. But now, a local lab has become the first in the state to test for PFAS. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker is taking us inside the lab in Holland. Ken? Sue, workers at Trident Labs say they were motivated by the PFAS scare near Wolverine Worldwide's old dump sites and then near the Gerald R. Ford International Airport. We started here in the very front and we've worked our way back. The Trident supervisor who suggested his lab test for PFAS was first in line to check his well water. I got 100% negative. Lyle Rawlings lives just east of Rockford, outside Wolverine Worldwide's PFAS zone, but close enough to worry. Um, I brought in my own as we were developing the test, and uh, we used my water several times to just make sure that things were giving us clean results. The four-year-old toxicology lab is certified for medical tests, checking urine and saliva for opioids and other drugs, something it does for doctors and hospitals. As I open it, you can hear the hiss of the nitrogen. Then a month ago, it started testing for PFAS, using the same methods, the same lab technicians, and the same equipment. So this is the household sample of tap water. From a home near the Ford Airport, it takes four hours to process the sample. After that, it gets run through this machine and gets quantified, and we're able to tell how much of the PFAS is in that water sample. Some out-of-state labs charge $600 or more to check for PFAS in water samples. Trident says it's charging $250. Homeowners, including those around old Wolverine Worldwide dump sites, have waited a month for results. Trident says it can turn them around in a week or less. We saw the challenges that were being, that were happening in the industry. Um, we knew there was only a handful of labs nationwide doing it, and we knew they were charging exorbitant prices. Um, we knew we could do better, and so that's what we set out to do. So far of the six results it's gotten from wells near the Ford Airport, two were positive, both less than the 70 parts per trillion limit set by the state. They tested the homes in response to a Target 8 investigation that found the Ford used lots of PFAS tainted AFFF firefighting foam for decades, mostly for testing. The same foam is contaminated military bases across the country. I mean, there's there's just hundreds, if not thousands, of opportunities out there for this to get into groundwater and and into the into um, people's bodies. Now, Trident's results at the airport are similar to those from Gordon Water Systems of Grand Rapids, which charges $300 or $50 more than Trident, but sends its samples to out-of-state labs. Now, the DEQ still plans to open its own PFAS lab, but says it wants to learn more about Trident.